by the roots because the fibers go all the way down into the roots. That's so, so cool. As much length as you can. That's awesome. But then, that's, that's cool. Stuff. That's yeah. awesome. Wonderful. What we're going to do now is move this over into the shade. So okay. The next step is going to ripple. Okay. The equivalent to threshing. Okay. To, you know, you get the grain, head, the seed heads off the, the stem. And these are the seed heads that where you know, inside these are uh, flax seeds. Th these wow. have These have tiny flax seeds. They're not the kind. There's a different variety that's grown for for food or yes. oil. Uh, has and this is grown specifically to make the the linen that you at Oktoberfest, right? Well, this, this is the variety that's grown for linen. Yes, okay. It, it's grown for fiber, uh, not so much for the seeds. Okay. Awesome. Move this over. In the shade okay, okay. Just for, because we're wimps and don't want to do it. It's warm. Sun. It's it, so it's warm out. Warm. Yeah. yeah, I just have these. Oh, God, corner. Yeah. Okay. Want to move this one? Yeah. Yes. Here. Here are the native plants. And that's uh, kind of a stop speaking of plant tree. Okay. And a uh, plant that uses swelling. Okay. Okay. It's too hot. We're going to go in the shade right now, babe. Over here, and then we can put it back up on the rack. You want to hold one of these? Oh, it's so helpful! Good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My daughter is hold inside. Right she wrapped oh, me inside. Okay, like this. Yeah. Okay. Now hold it up tight. Oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah, like that. Yeah. You okay, bud? 
Yeah, I'll take this corner here, brother. Amanda? Amanda, if you want to. Okay, okay. Oh, here. Oh, thank you. Huh? Awesome. Rip, 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 Okay. You want to do? Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, if any of the uh, shoot holders are coming off, oh, there you go. I'll take over uh, everybody's position. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 further up at the top and work your way back. I mean, start up at this end. Oh, okay. Yeah, right about in there. Start near the tip and then start. Ah. Yeah. Start near the tip. Okay. I might not have been doing that, but I can see how <laughs> it works better, you know. Kind of like coming at your hair, right? How are you? We came and saw help uh, a couple months ago. Yeah, pulling up the yeah and we box. wanted to come back and see see, the, the see it. There. Yeah. yeah this is, this is, there's this stuff you guys pulled. Yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I was hoping you were doing your demonstration. So. Uh, well, we are. Yay! But, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, let's do a little bit here. Nice little demonstration of what what we're going for. This is the brittle stem here. Okay. If you just take your fingers and break off the, the brittle parts, uh, you see the fibers inside. Yes. So what we're doing here is just a bundle of, of those uh, stems all at the same time. You wouldn't want to do everything by fingers. Then you end up with what once it's completely done, something that looks like that. That's wonderful. Like, like human hair. That's so cool. And uh, exactly. Well, this part here, once you comb it out, the shorter fibers get combed out. You don't. Know, they're the best linen comes from the longest fibers. This is called toe. Toe? T-O-E? T-O-W. T-O-W, okay. And a toe head would be a little blonde boy with very messy hair. Ah, okay. Like I once was. Um, but then a, a grown-up, a blonde woman, would be said to have flaxen hair. Flaxen hair, okay. That's this guy, if you want to shoot it in the sun, Oh, 
I find this absolutely fascinating. And so you guys left it out for you we took the, the 11 days. About 11 days, yeah. Spread out and the tall grass down there. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So eleven days, and then you pulled it out, and then it out, and, and it's it been waiting for this event. Right. Yeah. It's just been sitting around drying. Yeah. And then we're doing. This oh, this is so exciting. Now, what are you going to do with your flax? What are you going to do with this um, after today? Uh, you would have to ask that. Huh? You would have to ask that. No, we're, uh, we've, we've been giving it to the woman in the next tent over there who okay. spins it. Okay. Into, into thread. The problem is it's, it's pretty, pretty coarse thread. It's, okay. She did some. It, it looks ends up looking more like twine. This, okay. This didn't turn out to be the prettiest color. Depending on how you process it, you get different colors of okay of, of stuff, which which you can. Some people would bleach it and then dye it with various things. But okay, that's really cool. Yeah. Turning it into. Flex. And the short pieces are called a toe. T O W. T O W. Yeah, wow. And it's used to guys like the musket guy over here would use it for cleaning out. Oh, okay. You could use it for. Use it for starting fires. Starting fires, okay. But also, you can comb some fibers out of this. They're shorter. Okay. And you can make a coarser, cloth, a coarser kind of cloth. Okay. Like a canvas or something. Okay. Too coarse for clothing. Now, this is what you get when you start with. Stop. But these are flax plants. They're just building a small. So then you would use it for. Making, well, it was used for making any kind of linen clothing. Okay. At the time, the, the Bruner family lived in this house in the 1750s. Uh, there was only two sources of fabric. You had uh, one was wool, and the other was linen. Two types of fabric, I should say. Yeah. So you got to have some sheep, and you got to have some flax. And sorry, a quarter acre of flax to get enough linen to make one suit of clothes for a person. And what's that mean? This, this is a type of linen. Linen, right? Yeah, you can, yeah, you can then you can weave it to make it a, a coarser kind of thing like this. Or Irish linen is a very fine, smooth, soft kind of linen.